Thanks, Jason. It's me over here. <laughs> Sorry, I brought too much okay. stuff. No, it's great. I love a beautiful display. <laughs> one of the first signs of spring is seeing more birds out and about. I saw one right by the window the other day. It was amazing. Awesome. Okay, and uh, some of the prettiest are the smallest, the hummingbird. Well, our friends at Wild Birds Unlimited have great ways to attract these tiny beauties to your yard. We want to welcome Laurel Zoot. Thank you for being back here. Oh, it's my pleasure. This thank is so you. beautiful. It feels so springy. Oh, thank you. So are hummingbirds common in our area, though? They are this time of year. They are a seasonal uh, visitor, however. We just get them in the uh, warmer months because they like to feed on uh, blossoming flowers, nectar, things like that. Okay. Uh, if you're game, I'd love to do a demonstration with you. I'd love it. Let's do okay, it. Okay, if you want to hold uh, your index finger out like this, okay. I'm going to place a penny on there. Okay. And then all these great facts I'm about to share about our ruby-throated hummingbirds okay. takes place in the weight of this penny, three grams. What? That's how much this bird weighs. No way, really? So when they are flying, uh, their heartbeat can go upwards of 1,200 beats per minute. Okay. When they journey north back here to Michigan, they will fly the Gulf of Mexico nonstop for almost 24 hours. Uh, they average about 30 to 45 miles per hour when they're flying, and um, that takes a lot of energy. Yes, so, absolutely. Yeah. I thought your hummingbird was going to come and ping, sit on no. my head. And I was going to be like, oh my God, this is amazing. Okay. <laughs> like Cinderella or Snow White or something. <laughs> I'm telling you. So t talk us through what you've brought in. This is beautiful. It feels springy. Oh, okay. Oh. Sorry. Um, so what is this to do? Apologies, I brought so it's many okay. things, so I'll this just go great. like this. That's I know okay. my it's weather beautiful. guard, my weather guard was blocking your beautiful face. No, it's okay. Talk so, to me. What's this? So one of the ways you can get those little gems to actually visit your yard, visit your garden, is putting out a hummingbird feeder. Okay. And so something like this, you're going to put a mixture of uh, sugar and water. Okay. Four parts water, one part white granulated sugar that mimics nectar like they find in flowers. Mm. And then the hummingbirds will come in to feed. Now, uh, the most of the their weight, their body weight is actually their chest muscles. That's about 25% of their body weight. So they don't have a lot of leg muscle. They actually can't walk, oh, wow. but they can scoot. So if you put out a feeder like this, if they land and they're not lined up with the feeding port, they'll actually do a little sideways shuffle mm -hmm. and then they'll start feeding. How and you can see that? the whole thing because there's not a bottle blocking your view. Got it. Yeah. So now tell us about this one. This is really cool. Yeah, so that looks a little bit different. Sometimes this time of year we will end up with a big orange and black bird trying to mess with our hummingbird feeder. Mm -hmm. That's actually a Baltimore Oriole. They like nectar, but they also like uh, uh, jelly, uh, fruit, you can put oranges. Oh. So this looks a little different because it is different. This is for our Orioles. Uh, you can put nectar down below, jelly up top in the cups. Uh, at my house, we really like the birdberry jelly because it's got both blackberry and grape, no corn sweeteners, nice. it's nice and thick, lots of fruit. And if you pair your nectar feeders um, with a weather guard, that's what was uh, hanging up there, mm -hmm. uh, it can help keep your foods dry when it's rain. You end up not making jelly soup. That'd be nice. You know, which is nice. <laughs> that's yeah. very true. Yes. And then if you pair your nectar feeders uh, with hanging plants and perches, uh, hummingbirds actually spend about 80% of their time perched because they've got such a fast metabolism, they'll come into natural branches. If you put those on oh, your clever. shepherd's hook, like you can that. give them a swing. I've got those right here. So they will actually land on this swing in order to conserve energy and guard their food. And then you can watch them go from the swing to their food, back to their perch. And very you get sweet. those great long views of these beautiful, beautiful birds. This is very, very sweet. I love this. These yeah. are also great ideas. So remind us where you're located. Uh, there are several locations throughout Southeast Michigan. Uh, I happen to be at the Brighton location, but if they follow the website, I'm sure everybody can find one in their neck of the woods. And um, uh, Ruby-throated females, they're the ultimate uh, mom bird. They build their nest, raise their young all on their own, and so giving mom the gift of a hummingbird feeder is rather beautiful and symbolic. And I actually brought one for you. Oh, thank so you. So if, if you're not currently feeding yes. the hummingbirds, I hope this encourages you to give it a go. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Thank you so much, My Laura. pleasure. All right, to see all that Wild Birds Unlimited has at their shops and find the one nearest to you, visit their website wbu.com.